This is a lens I wish I got earlier in my photography career. Let's talk about it. I'm Nicholas Clayton Lee and this is Director Discovery. So this is a Fujifilm Fujinon XF 18 to 55 mm f 2.8 to f4 RLM OIS. Long name. So this lens actually came out back in 2012 and it's actually the kit lens that you can get with all your interchangeable Fujifilm cameras. And till this day, I still think that this is a pretty underrated lens. The photos that you shoot with this, they aren't super sharp, but they're pretty good. And the videos, I love it. I still use this for pretty much all my video shoots. And I think like it being not that clear is perfect for videos. I think this is so versatile. I took this recently to Thailand with me and I pretty much got everything I wanted. And they were pretty sharp the photos i even did somewhat like a couple shoot with my friend and his girlfriend and if i zoom in on them i think the photos still look pretty sharp it's good enough especially if you're just taking photos for social media this is sharp enough so the story here is i actually never got this lens until pretty late in my career probably like a good two three years into my uh, photography career because i listened to somebody else. I was really dumb. I did do my own research. I listened to, to this other videographer who was more experienced than me, obviously, but I just so regret not getting this. He recommended me get the XF 27mm f2.8, and that's just at a 2.8, even though it's a 27mm. I think I would have learned a lot more if I got this earlier, just from knowing what angle is what and practicing the composition and being a lot more versatile especially when you're just starting off in your photography career you want to be more versatile and learn from that i think that 27 millimeter kept me stuck and limited me to doing a lot of things i think if i had this i would have been able to experiment a lot more that's why i highly recommend a lot of beginner photographers get this kit lens i think you can get quite a lot of light in this it's at 2.8 it's not bad especially for videos uh and at most it goes up to f4 that's pretty good like you can get everything pretty clear and you still get somewhat of a bokeh i think that's pretty nice and the best thing about this is the focus breathing on this is actually like very minimal you can't really even see it if i show you i think for like a 12 year old lens this is actually really nice and it's really nicely built it's metal all around the aperture ring has like a nice grip to it and a turn sounding to it i don't know how it's called and it zooms in and out just like this it does zoom out it doesn't remain a certain size and the focus ring is really pretty stiff. It's pretty nice. And it is the XF series, so it's not the cheaper XC series where that is, I think, a lot of it's plastic. I've never actually even used one of those before. And the thing is with this, you can find what your favorite focal length is, especially when you go out for street photography or something like that. And if I had this, I would be able to take a lot more portrait shoots before, and I did it because I didn't know how and I wasn't able to. So I highly recommend beginners, especially when they're trying to get into photography, get a zoom lens first to experiment, to try out new things and find what you're trying to get into and see what kind of style you want and see like, oh, if you like architectural photography or like portrait photography or just street stuff, this lens can tell you everything. Or other than like, if you want probably like animals or like birds this is might be a little harder because you can't zoom in enough but yeah i think this lens actually tells you pretty much everything and it's a great way to enter photography and this is actually not that expensive you buy this individually it's 940 dollars canadian which is around like 700 dollars us but if you buy this with like a camera body i think this goes down to like 600 dollars canadian so I got this, like I said, a later in my journey, but I was considering getting the 16mm to 55mm f2.8, which I think that lens would be really good for photography, especially for event photography, because that way you don't have to carry two cameras with different focal lengths, and that would work really well, and I am still kind of considering whether or not I should get it, but that lens is like $1,500 Canadian, which is probably like $1,200 US. And I'd rather save that money instead. So right now, for now, I think this works really well for me. I still use this, especially when I travel, cause this is so versatile for me. Like I don't 
have many zoom lenses, I only have two, which is either this or the 50 to 140. And this focal range is close to being one of the holy trinities of zoom lenses. So there's really not much to complain about this. The only thing I think would have made this better if it was water resistance, hence the name, it doesn't have WR, that's why it's not water resistance, but I am pretty sure if I just take it out, I think it'll still work fine. I've never tested it. Maybe I can test it in the snow, which is like now. <laughs> I can try it, but yeah, I don't know if I want to ruin like thousand dollars down the drain. So I think everyone, especially when they're just starting off photography, get something like this, at least similar to this, and you would learn a lot from this, just practicing and learning the compositions of everything and just testing out the apertures. Because if you're forced to use a certain aperture, you can learn from that. Don't think as of it as a negative, just improve on that and get better on it. Again, though, don't just listen to me, do your own research, see what you think, or if you already have like a certain kind of photography that you want to get into, like maybe architectural or just like portrait something, you can get this. It, it works really well just as a first lens and from this i'm pretty sure you can probably make some money from it too anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you guys think thanks and i'll see you guys next time